This is Mercedes Rich and Janelle Schmidley with Eagle Air Radio. Thanks for tuning in today. Learning can be a bore and hard to understand, so teachers are taking an extra step to help kids further comprehend and understand the content. Here we take a look at both teachers' and students' perspectives on learning. We're here with Mrs. Wright, an English teacher at Nixa High School. Okay, what is your teaching style and what do you do best to make students understand the content? I think my teaching style depends on the day and the topic. So sometimes I do direct instruction. Sometimes I think it's better for students to take the lead and do work individually. Sometimes I think it's better for kids to discuss and work in groups. So it just kind of depends on what we're learning, my style. Um, what do you think students understand best? teaching style wise. Oh, okay. Um, again, I think it kind of depends on the student. I think some students would rather just sit down and do work by themselves and not have me bother them ever. And I think some kids would rather collaborate and work together. And I think some kids would rather me, you know, help them individually. So I think it just kind of depends on the kid. We're here with Mr. Burns, a business teacher at Nixa High School. What's your favorite way of teaching to make kids understand the content? I like to use project-based learning, um, which allows them to use projects to learn the material um, makes it a little more real world um, that they will use in their future careers and lives. We did this just a second ago up on the board, right? And we said, okay, to handle this scenario, I'm going to subtract those exponents. 5 minus 3, and that led us to x to the second power. We asked Olivia Leak her take on teaching styles. What teaching styles best benefit you in learning? I like it when teachers go over it over and over and like they do like examples. I get that a lot. I don't really just listen and get it, so I don't like it when they just talk. We're here with Mr. Willis, a chem teacher at Nixa High School. What's your favorite way of teaching to make kids understand the content? I think if you can approach the content from multiple directions and levels, it can increase understanding. Usually there's always some other perspective that you can apply that will help and especially in terms of like math. If you can simplify things and make it to where a lot of the confusing steps of it are taken out or eliminated, I think that can be a lot more successful. We're here with Miss Wendell, an English teacher at Nixa High School. What teaching style do you think students understand best? I think it depends on the type of assignment that I'm giving. So if I'm doing a research paper, I like to lead them through it step by step so that instead of thinking they have a five paragraph essay to write, I like them to focus on an introduction. I like them to focus on strong topic sentences and then pick their details. Um, if I'm teaching something creatively, then I just like to maybe give them the first five minutes of class to write something with free writing. If they're doing a big project, I like to put them into groups if they like to work into groups or if, if they would prefer to work individually. So I really try to think about the assignment and what my goals are for the students and then set it up with the way that would work best for the majority of the kids. As students ourselves, we both prefer teachers who go over content thoroughly with examples and interactive content rather than just getting packets and notes to read ourselves. There are many different teaching styles and they all have different effects on students. Special thanks to Timber for providing the music. This is Mercedes Rich and Janelle Schmidley signing off for Eagle Air.